A Book About Your Skeleton by Ruth Bellove Gross. Everybody has bones. Everybody needs them. If you didn't have any bones, you would flop around like spaghetti. Your bones are hard and stiff. The rest of you is soft. The hard, stiff bones help hold the soft part up, and they give the soft part a shape. You can feel the hard, stiff bones that help you hold up, that help hold you up, and give your body its shape. You have more than 200 bones in your body. Long bones, short bones, flat bones, curved bones, little bones, big bones. There are bones in your head, bones in your toes, and bones almost everywhere else in between. All of your bones put together are your skeleton. But a skeleton isn't just a pile of bones. This isn't a skeleton. Neither is this. The bones have to be put together right. It's a good thing that bones are hard. If you bumped your head, you might get a headache. But the soft, squishy brain inside your head would be safe. Your head bones are hard like that. They keep your brain from getting hurt. The bones in your head are called skull bones. Construction workers have to be extra careful, so they wear hard hats over their hard skulls. Your heart and lungs are soft and squashy too. But nothing will happen to them, even when somebody hugs you too tight. The bones that curve around your chest keep your heart and lungs from getting hurt. The bones that curve around your chest are your ribs. You can feel them under your skin. Maybe you can even count them. Every bone in your body is joined to at least one other bone. Put your thumb and your finger together, your first finger together. Can you see where your fingers bend? The bending places are where two bones are joined. The bending places are joints. Strong, stretchy bands, like big rubber bands, hold the bones together. These bands are called ligaments. Without the joints in your fingers, your fingers would stick straight out. You can never play ball, or play the piano, or button your buttons, or peel a banana. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists are joints. So are hips and ankles and knees. How many things can you think of that these joints help you do? Other joints in other parts of your body also help you move. Help you move. You can twist and turn and touch your toes because you have joints in your backbone. Your backbone is made of many little bones called vertebrae. Another name for backbone is spine. You can open and close your mouth because you have two important joints in your skull. Put your fingers in front of your ears and feel them. <clears throat> there are other places in your skull where the bones are joined, but these joints do not move. Your bones help you move and your joints help you move, but you couldn't move, you couldn't even stand if you didn't have muscles too. Your muscles make your bones move. The muscles are attached to your bones. They pull on the bones to move them. It takes many muscles just to take one step or to wiggle one of your toes. Your skeleton began growing before you were born. It wasn't hard and bony then. It was made of soft, rubbery cartilage. If you want to know what cartilage feels like, pinch the end of your nose or bend your ear. This baby's bones are still soft and rubbery. Bit by bit, your skeleton got a little harder. Bone began to take the place of the soft cartilage. After you were born, your bones kept getting harder. There was less and less, there was less, and less cartilage in them. Your bones are getting harder all the time. They are getting bigger too. Your growing bones are helping to make you bigger and taller. They will keep on growing until the bone has replaced almost all the cartilage. Even an adult has some cartilage at the ends of some bones, in the ears and nose, and in a few other places. Some of the things you eat help your growing bones get harder and stronger. 
How old, you, how old will you be when you stop growing? That's hard to say. Most likely the bones in your legs will keep on growing and making you taller until you're somewhere between 14 and 18. Your arm bones will stop growing at the same time as your leg bones, but your hands and your feet may grow for another year or two. Most girls stop growing before most boys do, but almost everyone finishes all their growing by the time they're 19 or 20. When your bones are fully grown, they'll be stronger than granite rock. But even though bones are strong, bones can break. What happens if you break a bone in your leg? The doctor puts the broken parts together and you get a plaster cast to wear. Then you can ask your friends to sign the cast. Then you wait for the bone to heal. The cast keeps the broken bone from jiggling around. The bone will mend itself. An x-ray picture will show the doctor how well the bone is healing. No matter how big or how small a bone is, and no matter how it is shaped, there are spaces inside the bone. The big long bones in your arms and legs have big long spaces inside of them. This is what the bone, this is what the inside of a leg bone looks like. Blood cells are made at both ends of the bone. Blood cells are made here too, but only while you're growing. At the ends of these bones, there are tiny spaces like the spaces in a sponge. Other bones have tiny spaces too. The spaces are filled with a mushy material called bone marrow. Red bone marrow is where blood cells are made. So your bones do more than just hold you up and help you move and give your body shape and protect your squashy insides. Your bones also help make your blood. There are 206 bones in the human skeleton. Every bone has a name. In a real skeleton, the bones are white. The bones in this picture though, have different colors to make it easier to tell them apart. 